Have you ever wondered why we don't see insects buzzing around in the vast oceans? Insects are incredibly diverse, with over a million species known to us. And there could be as many as 10 million out there. They dominate life on Earth, making up around 90% of all animals. But if there are so many insects on Earth, why don't we have any sea bugs? However, this is not actually true, and when it comes to the open ocean, there's only one true marine insect, and that's the incredible sea skater. Stick around as we unveil amazing facts about the life of the world's only ocean bug. And yes, lobsters, crabs, and shrimp fall under the category as bugs from a technical standpoint as they are crustaceans. Crustaceans belong to the arthropod classification, which also includes insects found on land. These are invertebrates, sporting an exoskeleton, meaning their skeleton is on the outside, as well as a segmented body and paired jointed limbs. However, let's set aside all the technicalities of species taxonomy. When most of us who aren't biologists talk about insects, we usually refer to those found on land in the classical sense. You know, the flies, beetles, and all those other bugs we're familiar with. With that in mind, let's take a look at the world's only ocean bug. Sea skaters, belonging to the halobates genus, encompass about 40-odd species. While most of these fascinating insects live along the coasts, there are five exceptional species that manage to survive far offshore in the vast open oceans, making them the only true marine insects. Sea skaters in the open oceans are tough because the ocean is basically a desert for any insect. Nutrients are scarce and rapidly sink into the abyss, rendering this ocean realm one of the most extreme and inhospitable environments in the world. This is some of the toughest environments, but sea skaters are specifically adapted to thrive in this extreme environment. They don't swim. Instead, they magically walk on water. Their secret lies in their long rear legs, which help distribute their tiny weight of about 0.005 grams so they don't break the water's surface tension. It's like snowshoes, but on water. These little ocean acrobats are also incredibly hydrophobic, meaning they repel water. They have a nifty system of hydrophobic hairs and claws that act like grooming tools to keep themselves water-free and buoyant. These clever insects employ their forelegs to apply a waxy secretion all over their bodies, effectively removing debris and ensuring their hairs remain aligned, allowing them to stay as dry as possible. And if they accidentally get submerged beneath the waves, it's not a problem at all. They have a survival trick up their sleeves. If they accidentally find themselves underwater, they trap a thin layer of air inside specialized mushroom-shaped hairs. They can use this air bubble, called a plastron, as an oxygen tank to make it back to the surface safely. When you are just four millimeters long in the turbulent ocean, even a raindrop can be a disaster. And predators are always on the lookout for a snack. So, to stay agile and avoid hazards, sea skaters have mastered the art of jumping. They press themselves down on the water, creating a trampoline effect that launches them to impressive heights with a whopping acceleration. Scientists have tested how agile they are by showering them with water droplets. The sea skaters would easily dodge, jump, and somersault to stay dry. As mentioned earlier, the ocean is a desert for all other insects besides sea skaters. Sea skaters mainly feast on zooplankton, those tiny marine creatures. But that's not all. They've been observed dining on small fish, which they can overwhelm when in groups, deceased jellyfish, and fish eggs. Interestingly, sea skaters occasionally engage in cannibalism, preying on the babies of their own species. Tough life out there. Sea skaters rely primarily on detecting ripples and vibrations on the water's surface to locate their prey. The struggling or dying movements of organisms often give themselves away, making it easier for these resourceful insects to find a meal. So there you have it. There are indeed insects in the ocean, but it's only one type of species. So now you might be wondering, why aren't there more ocean insects? Well, being a marine insect requires highly specialized adaptations, different from regular insects. Sea skaters have evolved unique features that make them true ocean dwellers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating content like this. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.